Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leanne V and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about motivation and fitness. I noticed that my Valentine's Day video had a really good response talking about love and relationships and just being happy with yourself and loving yourself. I feel like I love the heart to heart talk and so I wanted to do a similar one and talk about motivation and fitness and I get a lot of questions about my fitness videos, why I work out, what motivates me, all of that good stuff. So let's get into that but I wanted to also do some glam and I just got this new package from Morphe. This is their new palette. This is gorgeous. So this is their Icy Fantasy palette and this is their pop a pastel matte lipstick trio which we'll use these two isn't this package so cute though so pretty i love the pastel colors so i took it out the box look how pretty that is i love the details they go so hard for the packaging what's funny is i actually want to wrap my car in an iridescent color like this i think it's so pretty i love pastel colors so much so let's take a look at this palette Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at these colors. If I had to pick one color out of this palette, that's my favorite color. Just the color, not an everyday look, but I like neutral colors for everyday, like really like the warm brown tones, tan tones. I would say this one. I like this. It's like a mint green Tiffany blue color. It's funny because in my old apartment, that was the color of my bedroom. I painted all the walls Tiffany blue. So I'm gonna swatch that for you guys so you can see. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna do it here. So, I don't know if you can see it. So pretty, so shimmery. I feel like I'm gonna have to do layers so you can see. Now I'm going to swatch the sparkly one on top. I feel like you can just keep adding layers to get it more dramatic. Wow, this is intense. Look at this, can you see? Boom. <gasps> wow, wow, this is gonna be so fun. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with my eyes. I'm just gonna play with this palette as I'm talking to you guys. So let's get started. So we're going to start with priming my eyes using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I love this primer. This is really good. Obviously, it's like almost out. I need to get a new one. So let's get started on this conversation because I'm so excited to answer all these questions that I get in my DMs about fitness. If you guys are following me on Instagram or Snapchat, I post my fitness snaps and stories all the time there. I love working out. Fitness is such a big deal in my life. I feel like it's a lifestyle. I've really been working out for so long and I enjoy it. It's definitely a hobby. I love it because it makes me feel good about myself. I feel more motivated. I feel like it's a stress reliever. It makes me happy. Of course, like the hardest part of going to the gym is going to the gym. <laughs> is getting up, putting some fitness clothes on, and going to the gym. Because once you're there, it's a lot easier because you're there and you're just like, all right, let's just get this over with. And of course, if you're working out with a trainer, it can be really challenging because it's always hard to work out with someone pushing you, which I've had a bunch of trainers through the years, just working with different trainers. I work out with my friends now majority of the time just because we've learned so many different workouts from different trainers and now we just switch it up and we do our own workouts all the time so me and my friends work out together and we film each other for our stories and snapchat i started working out around 15 16 years old because my sisters worked out and they motivated me to work out i seen them at the gym and that was also something i wanted to do to spend time with them and my sisters you know made it a fun thing you know after school we go and work out together so shout out to my sisters they're really the reason why i started working out but i carried that and now i just like have been working out ever since and i love it it's been such a journey because i feel like my fitness goals have changed. I feel like when I was younger, I was doing it for the cardio. I wanted to be able to build my stamina and just maintain that. And now like 
I was such a skinny, skinny teenager. I like hated that I couldn't gain any weight and after high school I started gaining some weight and I wanted to build muscle so that's when I started lifting heavy weights and now I love lifting heavy weights I feel like leg days are my favorite days so which is why you guys see me do leg day almost every day I do love doing leg days almost every day but it's not really good to do it because you need to let your muscles heal so I do upper body lower body upper body lower body I alternate and just like make sure I switch it up and I do different cardio Cardios. I don't do too much cardio because I don't want to lose too much weight. I feel like I like the weight that I'm at right now, but I do want to gain more muscle. So that's my goal. That's my fitness goal. I want to gain more muscle, build a little bit more muscle, and stay slim, I guess is the word. Not skinny. I don't want to be skinny. I just want to be slim. Slim thick. Alright, I want to be slim thick. <laughs> Okay, so I set my primer with Get Fresh, which is this nice color, and now I'm going to go in with Thaw Yeah, which is that nice mint green color. So I'm going to put this shade on my eyelid. I love this color. It's so pretty. The shimmers are so nice. The number one question I get on my Instagram stories or snaps is what motivates me to hit the gym and I feel like there's so many different things that motivate me because I don't look at fitness just to look good I feel like again like I said before that it relieves my stress it makes me feel good I feel like I sleep better at night because I work out so hard during the day and just to lay down in bed is like uh, a relaxing feeling that is just different when you you know, when you don't work out, I feel like I just don't feel as productive. You know that feeling when you guys work out and you just walk out the gym and you feel so productive and complete? That feeling is like the best feeling ever. And I also look to fitness as therapy. I think it's very therapeutic because me and my girls go and we spend time together and we work out. So I feel like fitness is just multiple different things that make me feel happy. And I think that's the biggest part of it all. It just makes me feel good and happy and healthy. And I feel like my diet's better too. I feel like I eat more, which is what I want to do because I'm trying to gain a little bit of weight, healthy weight. But I think that fitness definitely just relieves my stress overall. But most of all, what makes me happy is the results that I see. Just to see that when I'm wearing my clothes and I put on that dress and it's like, oh wow, I can see you know, my abs coming in or my booty popping in that dress. Like, the best part is seeing the results that you work so hard for. Another question that they ask me is, are you never not motivated? And 100% yes. Like, I don't always feel like going to the gym. And I feel like that's like, almost every time because I'm so tired because I do so many different things outside of working out but I know how much it means to me and how important it is for my health of course and what motivates me when I'm not motivated is my friends I feel like working out with a good group of people or even just one person helps motivate me and holds me accountable to going I mean if you don't have a workout buddy you can also work out at home you could do home workouts I've actually done a video before doing a workout at home so you can check that out or I'm actually gonna do another one an updated one and actually put in some new workouts that I like doing at home if I can't make it to the gym because a few comments they tell me well I don't have a gym membership let me just tell you you can get a really good workout at home so you don't have to have a membership to be able to have a good workout you can jog around the block you can work out in the kitchen you can use different tools or even your couch or whatever it may be around you to get a good workout you'd be surprised so I work out probably three or four times a week and I have to switch it up. I can't just do the gym the whole time, which I know that cardio is important. I want to keep my stamina going. So I take a boxing class or I take a cycling class or I go hiking to get some fresh air. I love outdoor workouts where you can just go out and you know step outside the gym because sometimes I feel congested and just like trapped in a gym sometimes so I like working out outside so if you don't like working out at the gym do something outside go out run at the park run at the beach go hiking um, take a dance class I think dance classes are really good and I feel like I sweat the most during dance classes um, but yeah there's so many different options that I feel that you guys can figure out which you know fitness class or whatever it is for you so there's no excuses there are so many things you could do to get a good workout in 
The next color I'm going to use is Sky High, this really pretty pink one. So you guys, I go to No Limit Training Facility in North Hollywood. And I love this gym because it's private. There's not a lot of people there, so I don't have to wait for machines. And I love that it has an indoor and outdoor workout area. They have a boxing ring, they have a wrestling ring, they have like a grassy area where you can just work out outside with different weights and machines. Like I just love that they have so many different options. Like I can go inside and use the machines, treadmill, Stairmaster. Like again, if you guys watch my stories, you can see everything that I use. So I just love the fact that they have so many options there. The only thing that I do wish they had was a pool. That would be really cool to have a pool there. I love swimming. I feel like swimming is such a great workout. But my favorite workouts, I would say, is just leg day. I love working on my legs. Did you guys know that working your legs actually helps you reduce the risk of injury, relieve back pain, and it actually helps you run faster? It's crazy. Like, I was researching how important it is to work your legs, and ever since I knew the importance of it, I just love working my legs out and also my booty. Like, you want to get that nice bubble butt, right? So, leg days are my favorite days, and it also helps increase metabolism and it'll increase your range of motion. So if you guys are wondering why I love leg day so much, that pretty much sums it up. Another question that I get all the time is where do I get my gym clothes? It's crazy because I get my gym clothes everywhere. I mix and match and I've been really obsessed with my friend's line, Lisi Fit. And they have amazing gym clothes. If you guys see me wearing like a cute two-piece set, it's usually from them. And they have like a really cute scrunch booty on the butt so it makes your booty look nice and round. So they have a lot of cute options. If you guys don't know, check them out. And I also use, of course, Nike and Under Armour, Gymshark, Forever 21, Target. I just like anything that's very fitting and tight but not too tight, just stretchy. I guess is the word. I just want to feel comfortable when I work out. And of course, I want cute workout clothes since I like videotape all my workouts. I like to look cute and I feel like when you go to the gym with cute workout clothes, you just, I don't know, it motivates me for some reason. Because when you look at yourself in the mirror, you want to like what you see. So even just, not just like who your body, but you want to see your body look good in clothes. So I feel like gym clothes is it's just nice to have nice gym clothes. Like, I actually wear gym clothes even running errands. I don't just use them to work out. I literally live in my gym clothes. So, I know you guys can relate. A lot of people I know just wear gym clothes and they look like they worked out, but they didn't, but they say it makes them feel better because they're in their workout clothes. Workout clothes are just so comfortable. I wear them every day. Now I just finished up with this color and I'm going in with Dreamer, which is beautiful. Look at that purple. This purple is so stunning. So I'm going to use this purple and kind of put it at the end right here. Pastel colors are just gorgeous. It reminds me of Easter tones and ice cream, which I'm craving that right now. Um, that's another thing talking about desserts and sweets. So I get a lot of questions asking me, what do I eat? Do I eat desserts? Do I eat junk food? Do I eat carbs? Yes, 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 and yes, I eat. I wouldn't say everything, but let's just say sweets and carbs are my weakness. I love pasta, I love bread, I love cakes, I love pies, I love cheesecake, yogurt, everything. You know, I wouldn't say cut it out, but I would say balance is everything. I do have my cheat days and I think that it's important. You have to be able to know how to balance that. So yes, I do eat sweets. The only thing I don't eat is red meat. My diet is just chicken and fish, but I cut out red meat. It's been maybe like, like four years. So four years I haven't had red meat. The reason why I decided to cut out red meat, um, just because I actually seen a documentary called What the Health and it just went into depth of just like how they raise the animals and like everything into it. Like I don't wanna get too much into it. If you guys are interested, make sure you check out What the Health. It breaks down everything about just meat and dairy. 
so if you watch it sorry if you end up wanting to be vegan because I actually was vegan for two weeks and then I gave up and I was pescatarian for two and a half years so I ended up eating chicken again just because one I do I love chicken fried chicken wings are my favorite Roscoe's chicken and waffles are like one of my favorites I love it but um yeah, so I eat chicken. I just make sure the chicken is organic. I think it's very important to make sure it's organic, but um, I do love fish. I love sushi. It's funny because I used to work at a sushi spot for like two years and I didn't eat sushi, raw sushi for the longest just because it freaked me out, the texture and everything. And now I actually love it. I started opening up to it, trying different sushi places. And I think it's just making sure the sushi and the fish is just seasoned right. I love it so now I'm into it I just I don't eat too much of it I just eat just like whenever I'm out with my girls we just go get sushi dates so I think one of my friends had too much of something and she became allergic to it and our bodies change over the years so I believe it is possible so I'm like trying not to eat too much chocolate because that's number one I do not want to ever have an allergic reaction from chocolate I love chocolate so much but yeah, I don't have a specific diet. I just make sure I eat my vegetables, my fruits, some carbs, and just stay eating protein because my goals are to build muscle. So now since you guys know what I eat, what I wear, my favorite workouts, and where I like to work out and where I work out, I want to talk to you guys about what I hate. Well, not hate. I wouldn't say hate. Hate's such a strong word. But what I don't really like doing at the gym which is cardio I, I don't like cardio cardio just sucks it's funny because i used to enjoy running and now i just don't like it i don't know why i just don't like it anymore um, but i don't like cardio and for those that don't like cardio there are so many ways to work out instead of just running you can go rollerblading you can go to a cycling class and dancing honestly is my ultimate favorite i feel like i sweat the most when i dance i don't know what it is i think it's when i'm so zoned in and focused on learning the choreography that i even forget how hard i'm working because when you're dancing you're using your entire body so i love dancing i think that dancing is a really great workout especially for cardio and hiking i feel like hiking is nice too because it's just fresh air you get to go climb up the mountain and then you just get this really nice view at the end which is like a treat you know after hiking you know you see a beautiful view and i think that's like very rewarding at the end to be able to see a nice view so i would say if you don't like running you're not alone just go hiking take a nice hike take a nice bike ride rollerblade dance do some tiktoks and dance i don't know whatever gets your body moving. That's another thing why I like TikTok. TikTok is blowing up so fast and it's insane. I cannot stop swiping and just watching TikToks. And the fact that it's just keeping your mind engaged and also getting up and doing activities like dancing and doing challenges. I love the fact that it's allowing kids to involve their families and do different things with their families and dances. and. It's just a lot of interesting things and I get stuck on all the animal videos. I love dog videos. You guys see me reposting other people's dog videos, which is so funny. Animals are just funny. The fact that they just have their own personalities and sense of humor. They're just, I love them. And so I don't like cardio, which you guys know that. And another thing I want to share with you is I don't really care for upper body, but I do it because I know it's important. I don't want like my lower body to be strong and my upper body is like super weak. So I like taking boxing classes. I think that it's a really great way to work out your arms. And you get so sore after boxing class because I feel like there's muscles that you work on that you don't even realize you're working on when you're doing a boxing class. And it's just, it's such a great workout. I think that boxing is great. Um, push-ups I remember when I sucked at doing push-ups I could barely do pull-ups and now I can probably do like maybe three strong ones I'm still I'm still getting there there's progress but it's yeah the upper body I just I don't care for it but I do I do work my upper body um, yeah it's just not my favorite all right so this is what it's looking like so far I just added a little bit of pink here and I think that that's good I like the way it's looking. It's really pretty, very pastel y. Alright, I'm gonna add some eyeliner. I'm going to use which eyeliner should I use today? There's so many good ones here. 
So I'm going to be using Man Eater from Tarte. This is a really good eyeliner. I love how precise and pointy this is. Eyeliner just makes such a big difference. Even if you don't like have dramatic lashes, eyeliner just enhances the eyes. And whoop, complete. I'm gonna add some mascara and I think that's gonna complete the look. I'm going to use Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara. Put a little bit on the lashes, like so. Okay. Let me brush off any excess shadow on my cheeks. Oh, and now I'm going to use the Matte Lipstick Trio set. Let's see which one I'm going to pick out from. There's three. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this case. Look at that. It's a nice shape. Ooh, this pink one. All right, so here are the three colors. This has more of a pink tone. This has more of like an orange tone and purple. I think I'm going to go with the pink tone. Look at that. It even has an M on the lipstick. I don't know if you can see it. So cute. I appreciate the details. I love that it's very nice and light. So this completes the pastel look. What do you guys think? I literally just created this look on the top of my head. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. And if you have any more questions about fitness, please ask them. So before I wrap this up, I want to leave you with a little bit of motivation that helps motivate me when I am just feeling down or just have no energy. Just be stronger than your excuses because at the end of the day, when you're working out, you're doing it for yourself. You're gonna feel good. No one regrets working out. It's not like you're gonna hate yourself after the workout. You're gonna feel good. You're just gonna feel better. And again, think of it like, a little bit goes a long way, even if it's for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. The fact that you're doing it is already so amazing because it's even hard to just do it from the start. So congratulations to you for accepting the challenge of saying, you know what, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna work out. So I hope this motivates you and I hope my thoughts and how I view things for fitness and everything um, motivates you guys to start your journey or continue your journey. Or if you already started but you took a break, it is hard when you take a break it's like starting all over again but you know what you're not alone i definitely feel lazy and i definitely don't always want to go to the gym but again i definitely don't regret it every time i go so thank you so much you guys i love you all and stay healthy stay fit stay happy and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys next time Peace. the next color i'm going to use is sky high this nice pink the next color, the color, I can't talk! Okay. You don't want to have too much of just one thing. They say you can't have too much of just one thing because you can get sick. And sometimes you can become allergic to that thing that you eat too much of, which is really interesting. Um, is that true? No idea. I heard of that. Maybe don't put that in there. <laughs> is that even true? I don't know. I don't even know if that's true, but I've heard it somewhere and I mean, it's happened before. If you were starting your fitness jersey, <laughs> all I have to say, if you are starting your fitness jersey, jersey, journey, <laughs> all right.